Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I will show you how to present a frequency distribution table through Ogive. As always, the first step is to sort this out. Again, there are different ways on how you sort out data from least to greatest. But in this case, if you right click this after you highlight, it will mess up the table. So to avoid messing up the table, go to the next column, put the formula again, that is equals, type the word sort, open parentheses, click, hold shift, arrow down until you highlight the last number, close parentheses and enter. The next step is to find a class interval where k or number of classes is 7. The formula is equal sign, open parentheses, then click the highest score, which is 69, minus the lowest score, 42, close parentheses, divide by k, which is 7, and hit enter. Do not autofill that you just need this and round it up to whole number by clicking decrease decimal make it a whole number and your interval is four next complete the table the class limits or the class interval we will start from ll or the lower limit and the first number will be the lowest number which is 42 and then go to the next box the formula is equals click 42 add the interval 4 and hit enter then after that click the second box and go down 3 4 5 6 7 so it will be until 7 because the number of classes is 7 so this will be 1 2 3 four, five, six, seven. So I have one, I need to delete that. Then for the upper limit, the number comes before 46 is 45. And same formula, go to the next box, equal sign, click 45, add the interval four and hit enter. And then Click 49 again, then drag down until here. We will count the frequency from 42 to 45. So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are four numbers from 42 to 45. Highlight it. And let's put 4 over here. Next, 46 to 49. From here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 from 46 to 49. Then we have 50 to 53. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7. Next is from 54 to 57. Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we'll stop until 57. So there are 16. Next is from 58 to 61. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then from 62 to 65. 1, 2, 3, 4. And lastly, from 66 to 69, obviously there are 2. Then let's find the sum equals sum. You could see it here, but if you don't, open parenthesis, hold shift, 
highlight and close parenthesis then enter the total is 45 US president then let us find the class boundaries first find the lower boundary the formula is equals lower limit minus 0 0.5 enter you can autofill that but you need to delete the last one the upper boundary the formula is equal click 45 the upper limit add 0 0.5 and hit enter if you want to autofill that and delete this that is fine before we continue, I want you to remember that we need two things for the ogive. One is the class boundaries and the other one is the cumulative frequency. There are two parts for cumulative frequency. One is the greater than cumulative frequency and the other one is the less then let us just copy this cumulative frequency so how do you find for the greater cumulative frequency you have to start at the bottom so i will put it here bottom and we have to start on top for the less than so what will be at the bottom we have to start at the bottom where the upper class limits is Let's highlight that. And then the corresponding frequency of the higher class limit is 2. First, copy the frequency 2. Then go up to this box above it. And then equal sign. Click 2. And add the next number 4. It's like you are adding 2 plus 4 and hit enter and we have six and then after that drag it up but make sure the plus or the positive sign comes out then drag it up so here the total number is 45 the highest number is 45 that's why we say this is cumulative frequency greater than how about the less than we have to start at the top where the lower boundary is let me change the color and then what is the corresponding frequency from 42 to 45 type 4 then go to the next box equal sign click 4 plus the next number is 7 click it and hit enter then go back to 11 make sure the plus sign comes out then drag down here you go 45 and 45 we are now ready to graph the table through ogive first i want you to copy the title the boundary the greater than and the less than cumulative frequencies there you go then the boundaries that you have to get is the lower boundary shift hold go down and copy if you will just simply paste it you just copied the numbers but to copy the formula you have to shift command v as you can see the numbers are copied including the formula here in the lower boundary we have the lowest is 41.5 and the highest is 69.5 so do not forget to put 69.5 and then let us now copy the greater and the less than cumulative frequency so let's copy 49 up to 2 and again hold shift command v here there is no number so to make this complete you have to put 0 let us copy the less than cumulative frequency and here 45 fall from 66 to 69 
So therefore, we have to paste it over here, Shift Command V, and here you go. So what would be the number here to make it complete? Just like this, put zero. We are now ready to graph this. First, highlight all of them until here and find the insert chart symbol over here. But if you can't find that, go to insert and click chart. So since it's already here, just click it and wait and look at that. But I want you to look at the boundaries. The boundary in the table is 41.5 up to 69.5. So we have to change this by clicking the aggregate. There you go. We have 41.5 up to 69.5. And your vertical axis is from 0 to 50 because the highest number is 45. Next is, I want you to label the graph, go to chart and axis title, click the chart title, and your chart title will be Ojive. And if you want to change the, the font and the size, it's up to you. Make it bold or italize, put it at the center, and change the color. The chart title is Ojive of the age of U.S. presidents during inauguration and also change the horizontal axis title if you put class boundaries or either age don't forget to label the y or the vertical axis title so what do you call 0 10 you can actually put cumulative frequencies then it is better if your graph has points for easy interpretation. So I want you to hide this, go to series, and go up. You could see here point size. If you put none, you cannot see the point in your graph. If you want 7, it's kind of big. And then if you want to change this one to triangle, to square, the star, let us use the circle. And from the table, you could see the legend here, the frequency and the frequency. We have to change that. How? Just click this. The blue one is from highest to lowest, so we name it as greater than OJAG. So here, change it to greater than OJAG. And since it's blue, change the color to blue. And this one, since this is from lowest to highest, let's change the frequency to less than OJIVE. And if you want to put the legend on top, on the side or at the bottom, you could see the position here. You can actually put that on top, at the bottom, on the left, on the right, or even inside, it's up to you where you want to put. But for me, I want it at the bottom. There you go. Here, the blue is the greater ogive, and the red is less than ogive. So this is how you present frequency distribution table through ogive, the less than and the greater than, using Google Sheet. If you think that this video is informative, please give me a thumbs up and please consider yourself subscribe. And if you know somebody who needs this video, do not forget to share. Thank you so much for watching and happy learning. Bye-bye.